So BlizzCon 2019 happened this weekend, and for those of you who do not know what that is, it's a convention of sorts held by the computer gaming company Blizzard Entertainment almost annually uh, in Anaheim, California. It's an event where fans of Blizzard's various game franchises come and essentially pay money to be advertised to. Blizzard's franchises run the gamut, from Tolkien-type fantasy to horror to science fiction. They've got role-playing games, uh, strategy games, online card games, and arcade-style action titles. The subject of this video is a specific part of a cinematic they unveiled to their fanbase on Friday. The cinematic is for the forthcoming iteration of their World of Warcraft computer game series, in which we see two dark characters fight. One of them, the Lich King, inexplicably loses to the other, an undead elf ranger named Sylvanas Windrunner. Windrunner proceeds to remove the Lich King's helmet slash crown, and we are meant to think she is about to put it on herself and proclaim herself to be the new ruler of the undead scourge. But then they have this exchange. That power will be your prison. This world is a prison. Instead of donning the headpiece, she rips it in half, destroying it. And then this happens. Those familiar with biblical cosmology will understand what this is a reference to. It's interesting that Blizzard chose this sort of visual, since it's been clearly depicted in the past that their World of Warcraft takes place in a very much heliocentric sort of environment, complete with planets and outer space. The Flat Earth community on YouTube is a diverse one. A generally optimistic Flat Earther, like, say, Mark Sargent, may look at this and say it's positive, that the idea is in the minds of Blizzard developers and it's growing. Others, like perhaps Russian vids, may look at this and see mockery, like he did when he saw Hennessy uh, had produced an ad in which August Picard shatters the firmament with his balloon. Still others, like perhaps the Truth is Stranger Than Fiction channel, might call it Luciferian programming, similar to how he did so with Avengers Infinity War, stating that it's all a mental prep for people to take the wrong side when the events of the Book of Revelation arrive. What do I think? I think if you're a Christian you should have your armor on, just like you do whenever you listen to popular music, Go to university, watch movies and TV shows, and listen to your non-Christian friends. I think it's enough for now that we just be aware of this. Thank you for watching.